Yo, 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 what's perfect, cuzzy? You know what you know what's going on, man. Got another shoe review for you. And today I got the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro a shot wear C crystal. And I'll be starting with the box. Alright, so here's the box to the Nike SB Dunks. It comes in this teal Nike SB box. Okay, Nike Dunk Low Pro a shot wear size 10 green glow black summit white so the nike sbs came in this plain white paper usually nike sbs come with some paper with some designs on it but for some odd reason these came with just plain paper the sbs come with white laces on the side but i have black ones in them but they come they came with those also okay so these are the nike sb dark low shot wear c crystals now we'll be starting with the upper so, in this green glow color, you have a suede. Only in this green glow color. On the upper wise. How is it? It's alright. Feels straight, but it's a skate shoe, man. So, we put alright quality on here. It's not the best, but it definitely. You know, for skate wise, it gets the job done. And remember, that's suede all across the shoe when it comes to that green gold color. All right, and the leather parts of the shoe, which is the check and the white, but I'm gonna start with the white. It's a tumbled leather. <clears throat> How's that? It's hard. You know, looks good. But how does it feel? It feels all right. This is the shoe truth that come with the shoe, of course. But it feels all right. You feel me? It's hard. It's all right for the shoe. It's thin leather, so can't make it too soft. And the check leather, it's all right too. Damn near for the same. Nothing too spectacular, but it gets the job done when it comes to a skate shoe. You got the back heel tab stitched in that green gold color. You got the black suede going across, uh, leather going across the shoe. My apologies for that. And you got the white leather, of course, and you got your white stitches. All right, the midsole it's in that green glow colorway. <clears throat> Doing my bad for my voice, man. It's going dumb. Um, this is a pretty offset hit. That green glow color on that midsole, man, it devoured the shoe. It made the shoe, yeah, bro, it made the shoe it, to be honest. Then you have your bottom black sole with your cushioned white Nike SB in the middle. Okay, here's the other shoe. And again, this is a thin shoe. Very thin. Look at the tongue. In your mesh material. It says Nike SB. A shot wear. But it's so thin. Even though you, we have other thin tongue SBs, this is ridiculous thin. It doesn't even go out that much, to be honest. It's just so... This is one of the most skimp tongues they ever made on the SB during this era. Because look, look, at, look at the... Just look at the shoe period, but it's so thin. It's so light. Look how thin this is. It's so thin. But th that's how they was making SBs during this time, in 2016. So, I mean, even though, uh, I mean, it's not really a fat SB dunk, it's still pretty. It was all right, bro. I can't lie to you. Uh, I mean, if it was fat, pretty sure it, it would have been. It would in my in my opinion would have been more of a SB, but I can't really be mad because these are still up. So yeah, size ten. That's what it came with. Sticker wise, nothing on the back of the tongue. Okay, so I messed up the insole to the shoe. So basically, just had Nike SB right here on the insole, but it had antlers. But I wore them a couple times. So. It got damaged, but 
everything else is black. But one thing they did different during this era of SB, which I believe they should bring back, was their cushioned um, insole had grooves all over it, flexible grooves. And I'm not saying that they just made a difference, but man, I can't lie to you, this this was definitely an impressive feat. You feel me? I wish that they would do some type of come back to this type of sole, but I mean it was I guess it was just his thing for that era during that time. But just letting people know this is the insole that came with these shoes. It was a little different, but it's not bad. Okay, here is the inside size tag to the shoe. Size 10, 2016, all that. This is what the inside tag looks like. So overall, this is a greatly executed shoe, man. I guess like, 2016, dude. Christmas, I asked my parents, I was like, yeah, I really just want these Nike SBs for Christmas. That's the only, that's how I got them. They walked in the clockwork. They just walked, like my parents, these, they, they don't know nothing about the shoe game. They still don't. They didn't know them. They walked inside clockwork. I told them where to get these from because SBs were sitting during that time, 2016. Got my size. And then when I woke up for Christmas, that same year, 2016, I had these sitting there waiting. And that's how I got them. And these are legit. Uh, the prices on them are, geez, wow. But if you can get this for a low price, yeah, this is a clean shoe. Uh, you're not seeing a lot of shoes in this colorway really going this off. You feel me? And you got your green glow fours. But there's not really too many other green glows that are prolific. People don't even know that this is a green glow type of shoe. Because it's just more of a sea crystal. But hey, it'd be like that. But yeah, man. Oh yeah, the fit on these, yeah, these these fit snug. Can't lie to you, I'm pretty sure I can break them in a little bit more, but yeah, they fit a little snug. Can't lie to you. And these are lightweight too, so one of my most lightweight SBs. So just letting you know that. And um, yeah, um, the comfort wise are pretty nice. Whatever's here. Whatever's here.